Hello friends, it's Christy. Welcome to Bitly Ditly House Plans. In today's video, we are planning the week of November 27th through December 3rd in my plum paper vertical columns. So let's get started. Alrighty friends, so for this week I have this Planner Kate kit. I had to trim the top off for it to fit in my Fern Creek sticker, sticker album. This is kit 552, it's called Autumn Blooms. I use this as my monthly in my Erin Condren social media planner and I love it. So I have here the sampler sheet with mixed scripts, decorative boxes, functional boxes, couple pieces of washi. I've got the brush stroke date headers over here. And then I have the deluxe washi sheet. Look at how gorgeous this is. I love this, love this, love this. I kind of want to buy it during the sale that's going on right now so I can have it again for next year just because it's gorgeous. Look at all of this. So pretty. All right, let's get started. I am, let's see, so we've got some dark date headers. So let's put down like maybe this one here. This is pretty. Let's see, I think this will cover, yeah. So it is Sunday. It was Thanksgiving, uh, Thanksgiving weekend, so what's today? The 26th, and Emma just left to head back to school. We had a wonderful Thanksgiving. Friends, let me know how yours was. I hope you had a good Thanksgiving as well. Oh, you know what? I'm gonna put a cover under here because it's lumpy. Okay, I pulled out my tweezers too. Um, I hosted, I had 23 of my family here. Of course, I've mentioned in another video, Sophie went to Scott's family back east, so we were missing her, but it's so nice being able to FaceTime. My gosh, I don't know how parents did it before FaceTime came around, <laughs> but that sure does help a lot. Um, but she had a great time with her cousins on that side of the family and her grandparents. So she was texting and calling every day, letting us know all the things that they were doing together. So that was really great for her. And she, I was so proud of her because that I didn't think about it, you know, because she's flown a lot, but that was the first time she had flown by herself, like and had to make connecting flights and everything. So she got back to school safely and everything worked out according to plan. She wasn't delayed, thank goodness. But I think a large part of it too is she flew back yesterday on Saturday. So that was nice because we kind of avoided everybody, the whole big madness of today, of the Sunday, of everybody going back on Sunday. So that was really good for her. Oh, that's pretty. Okay, so I pulled this Tombow 026. It's kind of a little bit mustardy. It looks a little bright when it goes down at first, but it it's kind of dark, but it'll dry perfectly. And it kind of matches this color for the month, kind of goes with this kit. I got to walk today. I didn't walk yesterday. No, wait, did I walk yesterday? I walked yesterday, I think, but I didn't walk on Black Friday because I went shopping. Okay, so now for under here, I think I'm gonna use this one here. I wanted to pick up Scott's Christmas gift, so I went out early to pick that up. Oh, to pick that up, and I'm glad I did because I got the last one, so that's good. He'll be happy with that <laughs> once he gets it. And then I didn't do, like I wasn't out super early. I was out at seven. And then Emma and I went shopping. We just had such a good time. Last night we had a rousing game of Scrabble. Her boyfriend came to town because we celebrated her birthday on Friday. And so he stayed the weekend with us. And my mom got him playing Scrabble. It was so fun because he's like, yeah, I don't think I've ever played before. Okay, let's see. What do I want to do here? I kind of want to do... I want to do some dots. Let's see, what color do I have that could go with this? Okay, I pulled this clean color dot. It is, where's the color on here? Fawn. And I know it's not gonna, it doesn't match this mustardy looking color, but it's kind of this color-ish. So I'm gonna, I'm gonna just do it because I kind of want to do, oh, I don't have enough little flags here. Because I, I kind of want to do some dots. So, we had a really good time, lots of eating. So we made two turkeys. I did a stuffed turkey in the oven. That was a 15 pounder. And then Scott did like a small, small turkey and he smoked it cause he likes to smoke the turkey. So we had that. And then of course I bought a ham as well. We had like a 
seven or nine pound ham, I can't remember now. And then we had all the stuffing, mashed potatoes, all of that. And then gravy. I made candied yams. And this is crazy because all of the recipes for candied yams actually say sweet potato use sweet potatoes, but I actually bought real yams. So it worked out. Okay, so here's my dilemma, friends, because I'm definitely using this below, but I love this one and I was gonna use this up at top. It's kind of similar, just has a light background, but I'm wondering if I should put in this one since I kind of was using this color to kind of go off of this. I love this washi though. I'll have to find somewhere else to use that like in another. Oh, and this kind of goes back to this color here. Maybe I should do this. So they came out pretty good. Like I, I what I did was I kind of parboiled them because I was really worried about it because I'd never made them and I wanted to make sure that they baked through enough. And I, you know, I was putting them in after I pulled out the turkey. So it, like, I didn't want it to take an hour, you know, to bake. So I kind of parboiled them. Let me just see. I think it's just going to go this way. And then put them in the oven with the candied syrup stuff. And um, we put marshmallows on top. I put the little baby marshmallows on top, the little minis, because that's the way my husband wanted them. That's the way we grew up doing them too. I don't know if that's kind of like not something people do anymore, but back in the day, you used to have marshmallows on your <laughs> candied yams or candied sweet potatoes. I'm so excited, I have more to-dos finally. So friends, I just filmed a quick short little video of this latest order from Saya Planning, which is now relaunched as Aperture Empath. And I talk a lot about what she offers on her website, on her new, not website, her new Etsy shop. So eight different fonts. You can choose between the regular white sticker paper like I have here or the clear matte transparent paper like so i have a little bit of both in that video so she's just getting everything up she's got a lot of functional things up she's got scripts up the clean mama stuff is up um, and then i think she's going to work on like what kits she's going to start putting up and then what sizes you know like different planner sizes she's going to do oh that looks so cute okay i really like this and then Let's see, oh, this one here, I'm gonna do, I love, this is why I bought this kit, because I love this washi here. This is gorgeous. I would love a blouse in this pattern. Okay, so I'm just gonna tell you, friends, I've been online all weekend long looking at, I'm not buying a Hobonichi Cousin, but I was looking at like just their store and checking it out, because so many people are using that kind, whether it's Sterling Ink or Hobonichi. And they have some covers, not that I need one, but they have some in the Liberty of London fabrics. And they have this one, it's called a Stapo. It's like this little pouch and like standing pen type thing. Oh my God, it's the most darling thing. And I really want it, but it's, it's from their shop in Japan. Like I haven't, there he is. I was like, this little asterisk fell off. I haven't been able to find it. Like I found it online but it's like $90 online but it costs you know $60 basically to get it from Japan but it is so cute what was I pulling off the weekend and I was like oh I really want it but I don't want to pay so the shipping would cost more than the actual item so I won't do it but oh my god it's so cute all right so there's weekend I've got top bottom washi my to-dos uh, while I'm here and I'm thinking about it, let's go ahead and highlight this partial week that we're going to have. can't believe we're already into December. So the day after Thanksgiving, my car radio switches over from modern country music to Christmas. I'm so excited. So we've already been listening to all the Christmas tunes. Let me know what your faves are. My oldest nephew and his wife they just went to go see Mariah Carey so it was cute on Thanksgiving he came over wearing like a Christmas Mariah Carey shirt it was so cute like all I want for Christmas you know her song it was so funny they're so much fun he has been working all weekend putting up his gigantic Christmas light extravaganza display he goes all out super crazy okay so I've got a little dilemma here 
friends because I love all of these boxes. Like typically I should use this one here so these ones can go in my spread, but I really love this one and this one. I thought I would kind of put it here just so that it's totally highlighted and like I'm not covering it with anything. And then let's see, I could either use the leftovers of this stripe under here or I could put a thin piece of this washi down. Let me see. The skinny one that looks really pretty this is kind of busy I think I think I'm gonna do this oh the dark looks kind of good too I'm gonna do this green let me see let me see what I like better do this little skinny skinny green here okay and then I'm gonna put this down oh this is so gorgeous this is just an amazing kit. Okay, I'm gonna do this blue because I just wanna see what it looks like. Do I want the dark or do I want the green? Ooh. Ooh, I kinda want, I kinda like the dark because I've got a dark background here. This is so pretty though too. Let's just do, ah, okay, I'm gonna do the dark. Navy blue is my thing. So let me pull this up because I think what I'll do is I'll stick this over here. I'm going to put this down. Let me know if you did any major like door busters. Black Friday, did you do it all from the comfort of your home online? Did you go out? What did you do? Oh, that's gorgeous. Okay. Um, let's see. What do I want to do here? I want to do that this week. I know there's one here, it's on the date headers, here it is. Okay, so let's do this. Actually, I think I'm gonna put it above that line so it shows because the color actually matches with the kit. And then I wanna put this color in here somewhere. Let me see, I'm gonna do this. I'm gonna put this down here. And then I'm gonna pull some habit trackers. Okay, so I'm gonna use this sheet here and I'm gonna put this, I think what I'm gonna do is do like a little bit of this washi cause this is so, just like so plain and so white. I think I'm gonna put this in between each of my habit trackers. That sounds like fun. Okay, I got so absorbed in the habit trackers. I kind of forgot what I was talking about, friends. <laughs> Let's see, I was talking about my nephew and his big light display. Let's see, what else? What else happened this weekend? I want, I want you to tell me all about your Thanksgiving too. Oh, so we made the turkey, ham, all of that, ate all kinds of food, stuffed, totally, totally stuffed, and then took Emma out for her birthday Friday with her friends. Oh. And then we came back and we had cake here at the house, which worked out perfectly. And then Saturday, I made ham bone soup with the leftover ham. That's cute, I like that. It just adds a spot of color, right friends? To an otherwise like really simple, basic habit tracker. Okay, so let me get my habits. And yes, I know in my last plan with me, I forgot to put my habit, my actual habit scripts in. But I will remember today, I did as, as soon as I was done planning, I was like, oh, I didn't put those down. I had them pulled out and I was putting them away and I was like, oh, look, I didn't do this. So there's that. And then Otis's meds, friends, I am happy to report that Otis is now down to one allergy medication. It's the new one. It's the Atopica. He finished out the last of his Epiquil. I'm going to get a little paw for him. And he seems to be doing pretty good. No bad side effects. So that's good. Um, he's still not walking great, but I noticed that the fur on the inside of his legs is starting to come back. That's cute. You know what? I'm gonna put Tots here too. Just because I like this color. There, I just put three of them there. I just like that. Okay, so now, Plans-wise, meetings-wise, I don't have a ton going on this week just yet, but I know it's going to fill up quickly. So I don't have anything scheduled for Monday yet, but I have a 2 o'clock review. That's my review that my boss will give me. 
And then nine o'clock we have our staff meeting. So that's Wednesday and I'm gonna pull this script. I am bound and determined to use up this sheet, friends. And then, this is old Planner Kate, by the way, if you're wondering. And then, let's see, we're supposed to do a launch, but I don't know if that's really gonna happen. It's just kind of a hold on our calendar. So, maybe I leave that for now. Well, I can put it down. I don't have any 12 o'clocks left, so I'm gonna need to order some more stickers already from Aperture Empath. Let's see, this is, I'm gonna call it staff lunch. One of our staff on our team got promoted. So it was a hold on our calendar for a lunch to celebrate his promotion. So we'll see if we still get to do it. That was for Wednesday and then Thursday I don't have anything. And then Friday I have a 10 o'clock regional council meeting. And then I'm getting my eyebrows done at 645. So this is going to go all the way down on the bottom here. I love the little stitch box. I like doing things in a different color for my personal items. So I did like all my work stuff in this blue. And then I did my personal things there. Okay, so now let's see what we've got in terms of space for these gorgeous boxes. I kind of want to pull this one over to the weekend. I'm going to put this here. I don't have any plans for the weekend, so for right now, I'm gonna put that there. Let's do this like beautiful greenish color, or let's do this one, cause it's got a light background. Let's do, so this is kind of directional. I don't really want the stems laying sideways, so I'm gonna put this one like this. Actually, maybe I'll put this one kind of lower. I'll do it right about here. Okay, so there's that. And then I love this dark stripe. I could turn this this way though, like this. I'm gonna turn this sideways. It is kind of cute this way though. I'll do this one that way. I'm gonna turn this on its side. And I'll put the flower, I'll put the floral one underneath it. Just overlap a little bit there, cool. And then let's do, let's see. Let's do this one here. I guess I should do this one sideways too. Maybe like this. And then this one here, I like this one a lot. I'm gonna put this up high over here like this. Okay, so there's that and then I think I might save this one. I might fill it in here, but I'll leave this open space for now because I've got kind of a lot of my open space filled in already. So I'm gonna save that. And I also have this one here still that I can use, which looks very similar to this one. Kind of looks the same. Okay, so there's that. Oh, there's that pretty piece of washi there, but there's only one strip of it, so it's kind of hard. Okay, so let's look at icons. Let's put my shoe here. Oh, look, there is a little puppy paw here for Otis. Oh, I will leave this because I'm going to be giving him a bath probably on Saturday here. I'm just going to put it right here. Actually, I'll probably do it on Sunday. Sunday has been sort of our bath day for him. I'm going to put that here and I'll, I'll write down bathe Otis. At least hope I remember to write that down. Okay, so let's do trash day up here. And then planning time. Oh, we have a payday on the first. So that'll go here. I already used this week, so I don't know that I don't need that one to do run errands, groceries. I do need to get groceries at some point. And then, oh, it is recycle week. Wait, is it? No, I recycled this week. So it's not recycle week this week. 
I know I recycled right before Thanksgiving and then laundry day I'll use that and then look at all these pretty boxes I have here still to fill in if we make plans or things on the weekends I love this oh my god this is so pretty okay let me just double check one last thing yeah pretty basic week to start out with so that's good I'll be busy at work but it shouldn't be super crazy we're ramping up for our holiday party okay so here I wanted to put bathe Otis I got his nails trimmed this week, so hopefully we'll get through the week without needing to do that. And then I know because of payday, I'll be going to the bank. So if payday is the first, I usually get paid the day before. So I'm gonna put bank here on Thursday. I like going in the day before because then it's not as busy because <laughs> everybody else will be going on the actual payday. Let's see, so there's that. And that's what I do, um, if you're wondering why do I go to the bank, it's to get cash for my cash envelopes because I know nobody goes to the bank anymore and goes in and like works, talks to the teller, but I have a teller there. His name's Tate. And so <laughs> he knows me. I know him. It's so funny. So we always see how each other's doing it's, it. I, that's the thing about everything being online and just, you lose that personal touch, self check out at the grocery store. Like my mom always knew our checkers at the grocery store growing up. You know what I mean? Like those kinds of things you miss out on when everything's like on the interweb. All right, friends, I love this, love this gorgeous planner cake kit. Again, it's called Autumn Blooms, and I think I have everything set up for the week, and I'll just fill in with all of my, what I have left over here on the sampler, some more boxes. I'm going to save these washies. These are gorgeous. And then just some dates. I think that's it, friends. All righty. If you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and hit subscribe so you can catch future content on my channel. Thanks for watching. Take care. Bye-bye.